La Seraphim and Overwatch 2 are about to give us a masterclass on the basics of storytelling. Let's check it out. I love the fade in. So good. So we're setting up the story. La Seraphim, they're in their little dance practice studio. This entire screen is VFX. You can see when we play the clip, it kind of wiggles a little bit separate from the actual phone, but overall, a pretty good VFX job. Hi, my name is Jordan. I'm a professional video editor for artists like these guys. If you're part of the community and you're subscribed, thank you so much, guys. It really means a ton. Okay, we got the Overwatch characters. Let's go. This is catchy. I understand why the song is now popular. We got a little mixed media here. We got live action, we got a little Seraphim storyline, and then we also have the Overwatch storyline. I'm not familiar with Overwatch or the characters or the video game. I don't play video juegos. So sorry. Here's a quick tip, guys. If you ever want to simulate picture taking in an edit, all you have to do is put one white frame and then a little sound effect. You're good to go. Repair. <laughs> Little heart VFX there, it's nice. The camera movement, right when the like actual singing starts, is so good. Every single shot needs to have a reason to be there. There needs to be a purpose. And I don't know what exchange was happening right here. See, we're dancing, we're having fun. Everything makes sense here. And then we have these two shots. It looks like they're like saying a little something and do a little like. <laughs> they're showing like their friends, they have a connection. I'm not really sure. But in editing, in storytelling, every shot needs to have a purpose. Maybe it'll reveal itself later. This is an important shot though. Did you see how the animation, they chose to zoom in on the tickets? They're saying, audience, pay attention to the tickets. The tickets have importance in this story. We're like, all right, all right, let's, let's see what happens with the tickets. That was an interesting match cut. They're just vibing in the dance practice studio and the doors open right here. We can see in the mirror, the light shines in. And then that sort of match cuts to animation doors opening. That's awesome. And they kind of float off on their little bus. Guys, no listening to La Seraphim and driving. There's potential for rear-ending someone. Franklin wants to play with his tennis ball. He literally came and dropped it, so. Here you go, Franklin. That was a bad idea. He's gonna come back now. Oh, the traffic is bad. Oh no. Okay. Dude, the VFX is crazy. Okay, this is, I'm curious about how they actually made this. We're mixing live action and animation. Anytime you're doing animation, you have to store your board out the entire piece. Animators know this. But I'm wondering if they actually storyboarded out just the animation and then finished that whole thing, gave it to the editor, and then the editor had to make the decisions of when to cut to animation and when to cut to live action. But the little door transition kind of makes me think that they storyboarded the entire thing, both live action and animation, and had predetermined times to cut to each. Man, Franklin really just wants to play Fed. Franklin, we're making a video now, dude. We just gotta go and watch the Seraphim. Okay, we got traffic. This is great, bro. This is great. And there's also just a few shots here where there's just so much VFX where it almost just kind of looks like animation. I wish I was special. Where we're blending the animated world and the live action world together. I love these kinds of shots. Okay, well, there's a motorcycle coming. Let's see what happens with that.
<laughs> okay. Storytelling broken down to its simplest terms are characters pursuing a goal with obstacles in the way. Oftentimes there's an antagonist, which it seems like our motorcycle gal is an antagonist based on the way she treated that rear view mirror. It's kind of antagonistic behavior. Don't do that. It's not very nice. And I, was, oh, I almost said new jeans, bro, because this song kind of sounds like new jeans. And the Seraphim, they're tied in with this story too, but we're not quite sure how yet. Oh, I love the VFX, so good. That was good directing. The lyric is, so come through, and they transition through a doorway to a different scene. It seems like they're maybe like backstage, like they're getting ready for a show. I'm not quite sure. This little heart animation, that adds a lot. You guys know, as an editor, that I struggle with VFX, which is why these VFX hearts impress me so much. In 2024, we're gonna fix that, and we're gonna partner with our sponsor, Skillshare, to make that happen. Skillshare is the largest online learning community for creatives with thousands of online classes led by industry pros. And the reason to learn from a place like Skillshare instead of YouTube is that they curate only the information you need taught by the best in the world to do it, it saves you so much time. They have what's called learning paths, which are handpicked classes that are meant to be taken in a particular order, which build on one another, so you retain and reinforce all the lessons that you're learning. So I started the Master Adobe After Effects Professional Techniques Learning Path to cure my allergy to VFX. A chew. So I'm in the middle of learning about expressions from Megan, a pro motion designer. I'm learning about wiggle. <laughs> It's an expression that, you know, just causes random movement. So this new year, invest in yourself by starting a beautiful learning journey through Skillshare. Take your career, side hustle, or skill to the next level. <sighs> Nailed that. Nailed that line in the ad read. The first 500 people to click my link will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Don't miss out. This little heart animation, that adds a lot. Adds a lot of depth. Oh, shoot. Okay, okay. That was the money shot, baby. I promise I'm not naked. These are brown pants. After your character is trying to get to the goal, they get some obstacles. Usually they come up with a creative solution to get by those obstacles. They're going off the ramp. And I love how the Overwatch characters are kind of using their powers to solve those obstacles. Great, love that. Okay, now what happens in a story after you solve the obstacle? Usually, a new obstacle presents itself. So let's see, let's see what that is. The new obstacle is new jeans. <laughs> Frick, I did it again. The new obstacle is the Seraphim. It's an obstacle to my life. I should be doing other things, but here I am watching the Seraphim do this. They're an obstacle. That was such a bad joke, Jordan. Oh. The obstacle was that they were flying and then all of a sudden they started falling and that's why they were floating up because the bus was falling. Conveniently, our character has another power where they can summon somebody to just, you know, float them, float them through. Oh. Okay, so here's the story. They were going to the La Seraphim concert, but they forgot the tickets. Okay, Jordan, calm down. <laughs> Free donut coupons, bro. We'll get you. No, the motorcycle, the motorcyclist just absolutely made them look like fools. Of course, of course. There's a superpower that conveniently solves whatever problem the Overwatch characters are having at a particular moment. You guys are like missing the concert though. Like it's, it's happening right now. So that's, that's a cool power though. I wish I had that for the amount of times I'd like forget my homework at home or something. Oh frick, bro, they just missed the concert. They just missed it. Oh, okay, okay. 
We have photo evidence. Looks like they were enjoying it. They were there. If you want to edit music videos just like this, check out my course, The Editing Formula. The link's in the description. God bless you guys. Peace.